like a trash bag. Ah, ha, ha. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm sorry, it's really hot in here. So today, I'm gonna be doing another one of these dry with me, rant with me, whatever. Sorry, I'm trying to fix the temperature, it's really hot in here. And I'm gonna be talking about Gronish. So this is kind of an emergency video. I had a different video plan, I had a different thing to rant about. But then I remembered this morning that Gronish came back to last night. I didn't watch it last night, I think, because I fell asleep. I don't, uh, listen, you don't need to know my life. Um, but I did not watch it last night, so I literally just watched, I just finished the episode, like, five minutes ago. And I felt a very strong desire to come on here and speak. I have some notes written down right here, so if you see me look that way, that's why. That's how strongly I felt. I wrote down notes before I came in to come talk. Do I have gas? Kind of. It's good enough for me. So, let me first start off by giving you my feelings about these individual characters. Because I know some people do things like this and they have a lot of bias. I'm just going to let you know my bias already. I don't like most of the characters on this show. The only characters that I can tolerate are the Vec. I actually like the Vec. I think he's adorable. And I like um, Jazz and Sky. The rest of the characters, yeah. I really couldn't give one flying fuck out one flying fuck about so i'm gonna start off with zoe i don't like zoe i really don't like zoe i think she's a terrible person whatever yara shady is gorgeous amazing person i do not like zoe at all no next girl anna is a republican that's all you need to know about me that's all you need to know about her she's a bad she's not she's not a bad person she just i don't agree with her views um so i don't like her but they never really brought that up past that episode where they talked about it. Her being a Republican, there was nothing really past that, which is weird. Whatever. And then next girl is Nomi. Is that her name? I don't really have issue with her. I think she's pretty funny, actually. People don't like her because they think she's mean. I think she's hilarious. It's just like I'm very indifferent about her. And sometimes she says stupid stuff. Like, she said that shit about bisexual men, and I was like, yeah, we're done with this today. I don't know why you're not moving as if we're not on a road. Next, Jazz and Skyra said I like them. Boys, I don't like- Luca just bothers me. He just bothers me, that's why I don't like him. I don't know if he's really done anything wrong. I just don't like- he just, he just, he just bothers me. Um, Aaron is a hotep. That's all I need to know about that. Um, I like Vivek. Doug- Jazz is like ex-boyfriend now, I guess. I don't like because he's a slut shamer, idiot. Um, that's all. So that's my feelings on I think that's every character. It's all the characters that matter to me. So yeah, that's that. So now I just I was like, I don't really like this show. I mean I watch it because I kind of want to support. I want to be like, oh yeah. I don't know what exactly I am supporting because it's not, Gronish is not what it says. It, it is not what it said it was going to be. So I don't know what exactly I am supporting, but we'll get back to that. So I, I'm gonna go like, I wrote things down. I wrote down notes as I was watching the episode. So I literally have direct, why is everyone driving so slow? What is going on? Sorry, now I can go. All right, so I wrote down notes as I was watching the show and I'm gonna read off of them. So basically the episode starts off and like it's supposed to be directly after Zoe's dad like cut her off, which they did not discuss in this episode at all. Which I was like, so is that for next episode? Like I was so confused, I was like, she literally, and also I have some questions. Like is she cut off meaning like she has no more spending money or is she cut off that she has to pay for everything herself? Cause I agree with one of them and I do not agree with the other. Sorry, that was the curb. <laughs> I do not think she should be cut off completely because I don't think it's fair to start making her now pay that school is at least, at least $40,000 in tuition. I don't think that's fair. But I don't, I don't think it's that. I just think her dad just cut her off from like spending money and like just getting to buy stuff whenever she wants. That's what I think he cut her off for. And I agree with that because also another thing that was not talked about in this episode at all. She fucking cheated 
on her chemistry midterm. Instead of studying, she went out and partied the day before. She thought she thought Vivek was a dumbass. Mistake number one. She mistakes she, because Vivek was like, oh, the test was easy. And then Aaron was like, you know, Vivek's like a genius, right? They all underestimate Vivek. I don't listen. Didn't they say Vivek got in here on scholarship? You gotta be somewhat smart to do that. And he, he's an engineering major, dumb. They are not, none of them think. Also drug dealer, he, maybe he knows, I don't know. He's smart and they all underestimate him and it pisses me off and that's besides the point. So, Yara, so not Yara, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna call Zoe is Yara's character. So Zoe starts off and she's like, I never, she was talking to Aaron because she just ran down from crying with her dad or whatever. And she's like, I never felt so blindsided in my life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? You cheated on your chemistry midterm. What did you think your parents were going to do? Realistically, I want you to sit. What did you think they were going to do? Some people would even say cutting you off is like a nice, like a, that's like that's like a nice thing to do. Why are there cones in the middle of the road? Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh no! Accidents! His whole bumper is off. His whole front door is off. Oh my god! His whole front door was off. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's why you don't speed, guys. That's why you don't speed on this road. It's too curvy. You don't speed. Sorry. So she's like, I was so blindsided. Bitch, what did you think was going to happen? That's one. Then, like, she finds out that Aunt Anna and Aaron, or Anna, I don't really know, sorry, and Aaron have been hooking up. Let me say this first off. I do not condone Anna and Aaron's actions. I don't think, I don't think, personally, person. this is my personal belief, I don't get, I understand why Zoe's upset, but I don't understand why she's this upset, if that makes sense. Because, listen, there's like a gazillion, not a gazillion, but there's like more than enough men at this school, and Anna's pretty, and she's Latina, and she's light-skinned, she can kind of get whoever she wants. And to go for like Zoe's like ex person they're not exes by the way is kind of sus but i don't think it garnered this reaction so i'm just saying that first i don't think i don't condone their action i don't condone what they did i do think anna should have told her after the first time they hooked up but that wouldn't have made for good tv so that's all this is a tv show they need to do things so people will come back and watch yeah, that was a crazy accident. Sorry. I, I'm so stuck on that. So, yeah, like, I'm not, like, I'm like, yeah, I'd be pissed at her too. And I wouldn't, I actually, I don't think I'd be that upset. I wouldn't be pissed. I'd be like, okay, and, like, okay, and is what I'm trying to say. Okay, and move on. Then, so, like, she's mad. She finds out whatever. She, like, ices out on our Anna. Okay okay and is, is boo boo the fool because she should have just told her from the beginning that is her own fault that is anna's uh, that's her own fault this whole thing was her own fault i do think zoe was very dramatic in the whole situation completely and then um so like she gets all mad or whatever then she's like starts packing up her bags and puts on that ugly ass sweater to go leave and then she goes to luca's dorm i guess she goes to his dorm place, right? So she goes, and first of all, she expects that she can just sleep there. I don't know what kind of house manner she has. You have to ask permission first. So she starts talking to Luca, her current boyfriend, about, she's like, Anna and Aaron have been hooking up, and Luca's like, okay, and I knew about that for like at least a week by now. Or however long it's actually been and then she gets pissed again and then Luca's like why the fuck are you so mad why the fuck are you so mad unless you have feelings for him and then Zoe said and I oop she said I, 
Yeah. She was so confused. I don't think she's ever been called out in her life, and that's why she was so confused. She was like, wait, huh? Zuka's like, you wouldn't be this upset if you weren't, like, internally going over whether you still have feelings for Aaron. And she literally, something, so she was, she was shaken. So that part, I was like, I don't know why you would think that he would empathize with you, but go off, I guess. So yeah, that happens. And then, like, Aaron's with Vivek and Doug, who's Jazz's ex-boyfriend. I think that one's name is Jazz. Jazz and Sky are the twins who I love. Um, Doug is an asshole, but that's besides the point. So he's, she's with, they're, all the guys are hanging out. And Aaron's like, I'm going to text them. And they're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? No, you're not. You're not going to say anything because you're part of the problem here. Aaron's an idiot in a hotel. That's besides the point. That's not the point of this. That's not the point of this video. Aaron's an idiot. However, what was I saying? So like dummies, just dumb dumbness all around is what's going around in this um in this thing so what was i saying so like in this scene the lighting made vivek look green and i was fr i was freaking pissed i was like what why why do you have to make him look bad all the time you already gave him that dumb haircut you make him wear dumb clothes you couldn't have at least made him look good in the lighting because vivek is not ugly at all at all mind you at all and they just whatever I don't, i'm I, this is not a why the vector deserves more video but it's about to turn into one so in that scene blah 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 that happens and then we go back and the girls are at zoe and their apartment or wherever and they're like you have to go talk to zoe they're telling on of this and of this they're like you have to go talk to zoe you can't just ignore it and so she tries and then zoe called her like a backstanding bitch and i was like okay and okay and is the my response to this entire episode and like they like hash it out but not they never actually talk about their feelings they don't it was literally like i think like about two minutes and then so that happens and then these three dumbasses left put a phone in the room so they could like hear the conversation dumb i don't know who thinks they wouldn't see a phone but maybe maybe not everyone is intelligent besides besides the point that was just a, that was like a week that was a weekly written way for them to hear what was going on so that happens and then like zoe storms out and that's when she goes to like luca's room i think maybe i think that is when she goes to luca's room and i was like okay and moral of this that's sorry I, I, i'm gonna keep saying that because that's the point of this it's okay and and then, so like, they start talking about, they're like talking about, so what, like, then they start talking about, were Aaron and, like, is Aaron Zoe's ex? I don't think so. Not, I don't think so. They were not dating. So therefore, they were not exes at all. And then they were kind of they're like, well, what makes up a relationship or whatever? And people were saying, well, what, do you have sex? And then Noni was like, well, it's an emotional connection, blah, blah, blah. She just wants to fuck her teacher. Shut up. She just wants to fuck her teacher. Mm. She just wants to fuck the teacher. That's her whole point. And then, like, nobody cares. Nobody cares, Nomi, that you want to fuck your teacher. Stop trying to push that up. Stop. No one cares. And so they're, they're talking about that. And basically, the moral of the story was that, like, it's like if you're past high school, it's bad. That's what, like, Sky was saying whatever they were all making some very bad points and they thought they were making some really good points oh i have to go they thought they were making some really good points but they were not um so they talked about that then we move on to so zoe's pissed she goes and talks to the vec and doug the vec and doug basically tell her like you're crying kind of over nothing not that but they were kind of like you're overreacting a little bit they were like your girls are all you have in college and you shouldn't let a guy come between them they were just saying very tumblr 2013 shit like nothing that no like we've all heard this before it's nothing new it's nothing innovative it's something fresh i'm gonna park so i can read from my notes 
because I've had wrote some very interesting things down. Yeah, I can go. <laughs> Mini being about to hit me from behind. <laughs> no. So yeah, so he says all they say all that, and she's like drinking, I guess, tea or hot cocoa with them. It was like cute or whatever. I didn't know like Doug was friends with them like that, but apparently he is. Okay. <laughs> they do that or whatever and they're having all their fun or whatever there is a scene that I'm like trying to think of but I literally cannot remember what scene it was that like made like pissed me off let me just get to my notes I'm about to park and then I'm gonna tell you the rest of it because I'm forgetting this one scene in between them that made me so so upset I was like y'all what kind of show Oh, a stoplight. Perfect. It's green again. Sorry, you guys are gonna have to wait. <laughs> Ooh, potholes, 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 of course. Of course. What would life in Westchester County be without fucking potholes? We're almost parked. I'm gonna be here in about two weeks for my community college, for my summer class. That's gonna be good, fun, and fresh. No, it's not but I'm gonna fake it till I make it, baby. All right, so let me go park away from all these cars so I can vlog in peace. Oh, oh, people are in school. Um, I was like, why are there so many people here? People are in school. Ha, oops. I'm actually gonna park. Where am I gonna park? Oh, that's like handicapped parking, right? I think it is. Actually, I'm gonna go park. Yeah, I'm gonna park over here. Oh shoot, I am not allowed to go this way. That's too bad. That's literally too bad. Presidents off reserved. Ah, I feel bad breaking parking rules. I really do. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Sorry guys, I'm gonna go park somewhere else. I don't break parking rules. I really don't. That's one rule I don't break is parking rules. But I'm just like, I just feel bad. Like, I don't park in handicapped spots. Like, why would you do that? You're an asshole. Sorry. Huh. This is 17 minutes long. I should have just driven all the way to my old gym and then just parked there. That's a dumb decision. I'll just park in this parking lot. This parking lot of lots park in. <laughs> uh ha ha. Ooh. Speed bump. Oh, I really forgot class was in session. Ah uh, ha ha. Okay. I'm here. So I'm gonna park and then I'm gonna keep telling my story. Alright, so. So I wrote literally a paragraph about how much I disrespect Vivek as I was watching the show. He's adorable, first of all. He's not ugly. He's actually very attractive. He's more attractive than Luca, that's for damn sure. And they put him there for comedic relief, and he's so sad and insecure, and all his friends just laugh about his insecurities. He told them his whole life story, and they brushed it off like it was nothing. What? And he obviously has some deep-rooted insecurity issues, why he, like, presents as this, like, thing that he's not. So my, and then my last sentence down here was, it's really not this serious. Because Zoe was on the thing about girl code, girl code. First of all, you were never in a relationship with Aaron. So I think people felt like she was never in a relationship with Aaron at all. It was, they called it in the show a situationship. And I was like, okay. I was like, okay, go off, I guess. It's just never this serious. It's bugs. It is literally never this serious. Point blank period. So then, oh, this is a scene. So then, so like Zoe's mad wherever she is. She's She walked back in and she was like, she was like, it, it, she was talking to Anne and she was like, yeah, we shouldn't like guys come between us, but like, we're not friends anymore. You're just a girl I live with. And I said, I said, okay do what you want but i was like they start her her whole spiel 
was acting like she was gonna forgive her but it, she didn't she said no sorry that was really funny and then so Anna's out there in their apartment just like sitting there being sad and then like Aaron texts her and is like are you alive what it's never that serious she's alive and he's like please I need to make sure come out to the balcony and he's like standing there on the ground and she's at the balcony some bootleg Romeo and Juliet shit and he's like are you do you need me to come up there and come for you and she's like about to type yes and then she's like no I need to be alone right now and I was like you dumb ass you know what you can say can you come up with something else can you come up with something else? You know what whatever so they did all that he didn't come up he's like i'm here if you need me so i'm assuming he stayed there dumb aaron is dumb that's besides the point basically if that's the they never talked about how it made them both feel so this conversation is not over the emotions are just gonna get bottled bottled and bottled down until the next time they have a fight even if they're i don't know if they're they're gonna be friends again in probably an episode or two honestly so when they have another fight because they will these emotions are gonna come back up and zoe's gonna be like bitch you slept with my man even though that didn't happen that's not what happened but that's what's gonna come out because that's what happens when you don't talk about your emotions that's what happens mess Oh, I guess they got it across or whatever. I'm going over my notes. Yeah, basically, this all could have been solved if Anna had just told her from the beginning and been like, hey, by the way, Aaron and I are kind of like... ba da ba 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 I'm fucking him. Kind of like would have easily been solved, and then Zoe could have been like, No, I'm not okay with that. Yes, I'm okay with that. Moved on. Zoe being this causing this much drama, causing this much scene, unnecessary, should never have happened. Um, blah 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 blah. Also, Zoe's all mad and shit at Anna, right? Right? Do we not remember, was it the first episode? When she left Anna to die at a frat party? Left her to humiliated and pissed drunk at a frat party? That was never discussed. And Anna should have brought it up. Bitch, you left me to die. Sorry. Like, that was never brought up, and it really pissed me off. And, like, Zoe's doing all this, and I'm like, you're... It. I thought, I was like, did I miss... Did she break up with Luca? Like, did I miss something? No, she didn't. She's in a relationship. She's out here just causing commotion. She just... She just is causing commotion for no reason. It's hot as fuck now, because I turned off the car. It's just, it's so, it made me really upset. And I think that's all my emotions on it. Basically, moral of the story is, I think every single character on the show is dumb. That whole argument, that whole mess that happened in this episode was dumb. And could have been easily resolved by a simple sit-down conversation about a week ago. Lighting got worse. What are you going to do about it? And that's that on that period of the house! So, um, that's it. It's really hot. So, I'm going to go buy gas. Bye-bye! the show makes me so upset good trouble comes back in a week though so i'll be fine